Hollywood in general does enough of this kind of this kind of thing, or do you wish that there was more philanthropy going on from especially A-listers? I'll tell you the truth, I don't really hang out with, I don't know who does what, I don't hang out with Hollywood people. I know that as a nation, we're the most giving nation on the planet. So, I, and I think, I, yeah, I mean, I, there's so many people associated with different charities, whatever. I know there's a lot of celebrities that do a lot of, a lot of uh, charitable work, but um, do, they think, do I think you could do more? Everybody could do more. You could do more in your life, you could do more in your work, you can do more, the more, the more charity you do, I think the better you, better off you, the more, the more people you help. Would you consider yourself more spiritual or more religious? Did you strike me on the spiritual side? No, I'm, I'm a religious guy, I'm not a spiritual guy at all. Uh, I'm a meat and potatoes guy, I'm an Italian Catholic boy from Brooklyn, and my wife's more spiritual than I. Um, nah. Not a spiritual guy. Did, did, your, did you grow up, obviously you grew up uh, as a Dodger fan, right? How old do you think I am? A no. Dodger fan? Listen, Brooklyn... Do Brooklyn my dad's from Brooklyn. They left before I was born. I know, but you're, I'm figuring that your, your pops must have... Your pops are, uh, I was a Yankee fan my whole life. How could you be from Brooklyn to be a Yankee fan? Because the Dodgers were gone, and, and Brooklyn was so mad at the Dodgers for so many years. Um, I have an older brother, Stephen, who's, who um, was born... I think the year the Dodgers left, so he wouldn't remember, but he's been a Yankee fan, and because he's a Yankee fan, I'm a Yankee fan, or else he would have beat the crap out of me when we were young. So, no, I'm a Yankee fan. Mets, Mets, if you're a real New York, you don't deal with the Mets. But, um, so I'm a Yankee fan. And, and, and I'm talking Yankees with Mickey Mantle. Right, right. Well, my dad grew up right near Ebbets Field, so I grew up with all the stories. That's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I, I had a chance to meet Mickey Mantle. Uh, it was it was one of the highlights of my life. Oh, wow. It was one of the great moments uh, 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 of, of my. It was just, and I got to tell you, this is, and I don't want to bore you with the story. Um, I was doing this is before the whole sort of Mickey Mantle revival kind of. This was I was doing I was doing a telethon in New York, and I saw and I, what what year eighty five eighty six. And I see, uh, I see a guy standing, and it's a quiet studio when you do a telethon, right? It's late at night, and I see a guy standing, and I went, is that Mickey Mantle? Right. And, I, and I got so like, right, right, right. You, know, you don't know what to do with yourself, and I walked over to him, I said, excuse me, Mr. Mantle? And he said, yeah, I said, can I have your autograph? And he said, why? <laughs> and okay, I didn't, he almost made me cry. And I said, you're Mickey Mantle. He had no concept of who he was. And he had problems and he, you know, he said that he was a big drinker. But he had no idea what he meant and who he was. And that's such a wonderful quality in a human being. I mean, I won number seven when I played Little League. So... I, and and I got his, I, I still there you go and I still have his I still have his autograph sitting on my on my shelf in my office from like twenty some years ago yeah so I was oh psych psych and Bobby, the autograph what, what's the autograph on you still it, what's it on yeah it's I I grabbed a piece of paper and a pen it's and it's sitting in a, in a frame um, and then I met Bobby Mercer you don't know who that is no. he just passed away I think okay. he he took over center field okay. When, I don't know, don't quote me at home, yes, when Mickey left. But anyway, those are two great things in my life. But Mickey Mail. That's a great story, man. Awesome. Anyway, thanks again. Hey, good, good to see you again. Good to see you. No, no we more. Just have you come to our house Let's and hang out. See you like every couple of days. Fix some wine. We'll have you hang out.